we're going to show two examples of congenital ocular motor apraxia. This is a disorder of saccadic initiation, in this case congenital. Because the patient has trouble initiating saccades, an initial head thrust or head turn is performed. The eyes are rotated towards the eccentric aspects of the globe. Patient picks up fixation. Here, for example, you can see these head thrusts. The initial movement towards the target is with a head turn, not an eye movement. Oftentimes when these infants are very young, the parents or the physician may be suspicious that the child does not see well, but careful observation of the infant in the mother's lap or playing on the floor with some toys will demonstrate that the child sees well the problems with saccadic initiation. Look at those head thrusts to get the eyes over to the lateral aspect of the globe. They're literally dragged over to pick up fixation, and then the vestibular ocular reflex straightens the head and eye position out. Here's another, a smaller infant with congenital ocular motor apraxia. And I think watching this example, you might get the impression that perhaps the child doesn't see well, doesn't pick up fixation well. The clue, though, is to watch how the head thrusts bring the eyes onto the target. Then the child evokes the vestibular ocular reflex. Now watch this. The child is swung towards the camera. The eyes lead, but what you don't see are saccades for refixation. Another example of impaired reflex saccades are by using an OKN drum.